Hello, and welcome to the Walking Dead Definitive Series Developer Commentary Track for Season 2. Uh, my name is Kent Mutel, creative director of Final Season and cinematic artist on Season 2, and I am joined by... Dennis Lennart, who was a director, and I, th I think I had an associate creative director title at the end. That wasn't really a real title at the studio I yet. I saw six or seven. You appear in the credits a few times. Yeah. And I am Melissa Hutchison, voice of Clementine. And I'm Gavin Hammond. I'm the voice of Kenny. And I'm Julian Kwasniewski, and I am the voice, voice director. director. <laughs> like, what, 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 what? And I also am the voice the of words. Winston. And That's I don't, an important credit. And I don't uh, necessarily agree with his child rearing <laughs> skills. Rearing is a creative adjective. Yeah. <laughs> what do you All right. Be doing? I don't really agree with his child uh, raising skills yeah. Monitoring. of my babysitting. <laughs> and we are here to play episode, the final episode of season two. So strap in. It's going to be a dark one. There's this weird blooper of uh, AJ in Little Swaddle, and then the the voice actor was like mapped, to, or the voice files were mapped to the wrong actor in the engine. And so every time Kenny was talking, so it's like, Gavin, you're saying lines, and the yeah, baby's yeah. mouth was moving oh, and animating. It was the creepiest <laughs> weird thing. I want to see that. <laughs> Got it. That sounds amazing. No. Uh, Dennis has oh, yeah, everything. this intro. Ooh, oh, that's right. Oh, yeah. Clem's down. She's up. I remember this. <laughs> Uh, yeah, yeah, so I guess the previous episode ended with the shootout. Now we're showing the results. Luke! <clears throat> Scott Porter, ladies Let and gentlemen. Let go, Luke. And that wall Where's is the wall? wall that I think of when we do those nonverbals. That's the wall that you're crouched under breathing. <laughs> oh, right. Right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I'm serious. <laughs> that's, that's it. Oh, no. Not the baby! Look, Clem's already, like, taking care of AJ. Oh, we did get bullet hits on the ground. I couldn't remember if that effect actually ever came in. <laughs> Sweet. <clears throat> oh. Well, what does it look like I'm doing? I'm trying to get to the baby. <laughs> <laughs> There's still some CPR going on back there. It's go. funny, like, this is still, the urgency of walkers is still very much alive. Mm -hmm. Um. So, yeah. Got some uh, Luke here. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Scott Porter, hell of a guy. Uh, good beatboxer. Who is a really, yeah, good, he is. He's really good at singer. And he's a yeah. big fan of Kid Me On. Mm -hmm. And he said Who beatbox is beatbox <laughs> beatboxing was... Um, I forget what he said. It's how he got himself through school or something. Is yeah. he was a beatboxer, but he's also a total gamer. He is mm -hmm. huge and football player too. Football yeah. and really. What does he not great, do? Like, well, what's great is that <laughs> yeah, he, well, really, he does not seriously, tap dance. What doesn't he do? He does not tap dance. <laughs> so perfect. I bet you he should could. see him on the <laughs> on the trampoline though. Uh, that's fine. <laughs> no, he is. He um, passed really quickly, right? Didn't that whole I, thing come together I, I in like a week? I don't, because what happened was, uh, yeah, Weren't it did come together quickly. Weren't you making when that came together quickly? We <laughs> were, um, it, hap it happened quickly. This was kind of the, the season that ushered in more celebrity talent, mm -hmm. and um, which comes with its own kind of, I mean, we dealt with some of it on um, Thrones and on Back to the Future, obviously. Mm -hmm. Well, it was interesting, too, because this in this season, it it kind of matched where Clementine was at. It, I, I basically didn't meet 90% of the of the cast in this season, except for, you right. know, Omi, it Kenny. Was, yeah. These are actors I've worked with. Mm -hmm. So it was kind of interesting. And we like, were all we down in LA. together. Yeah. Right. Yeah, so it was an interesting uh, I was recording, reflection. I was recording in, in Fairfax. Right. Right. Yeah, and I, yeah, I was still in uh, at Studio George yeah. in Fairfax as well. I, I didn't meet Scott until after the fact. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so yeah, that dynamic just from season one of being like this close knit family to. Mm -hmm. Well, even then, I mean, we didn't meet. 
I, I didn't know Sissy until I think after we had wrapped. Right, mm. right. Um, I didn't meet Dave until that was that last session it's where we true. went to Thai food. Yeah, we, exactly. we talked we about it today. We just talked about and that. that. And it was that <laughs> great photo. It turns out that, that Dave said he was the, and I believe him, he initiated that because he wanted to meet everyone sure. else. Sure, yeah. Mm -hmm. I think it yeah. came through you or Jory that was yeah, like, and then we had, we're going to do this afterward. <laughs> yeah, that was fun. Right. Well, we I wanted to meet Michael food. Madsen, but <laughs> yeah. Yeah, what would I didn't there? have that phone call. Hey, let's go get some time, <laughs> man. Yeah, I didn't have that let's connection. Let's go do some shots. <laughs> hey, man, I hit, you, I hit you with a sledgehammer or a crowbar. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, let's, and I was. He's, you know, he, he was great because you just never know. You never know. Like, they... The games are still kind of second fiddle to se not anymore, but back sure, then sure, it was sure. still like ah, you know, what is this little game? Is it and, beneath me? Yeah, totally. Can I do this? And he he just did it. It was great. Well, yeah, um, it was kind of in that beginning phase of yeah. of celebrities doing yeah. of vo voice acting and well, not in general, but for and, games. Yeah, for absolutely. Sure. Season yeah. one had won eighty five or something Game Over of the Year 100. awards. What Sorry, is this? Not, to be, not to be Over precise. 100? <laughs> Over a hundred. It was. I was saying it was hundred and three. Hundred and three. The number and throwing it out there. Um, but yeah, I mean, so the the game had done well. Yeah, that's so true. And Telltale was one of the first real narrative pushers. Absolutely. For, and, the, and it the was audition kind of felt like so different. Yeah, that was the season two was definitely the the fruits of season one of your uh, success. Yeah, uh, he did an amazing job uh, as Carver. Absolutely, yeah. Yeah. Until I killed him. Right, and and Clem watched <laughs> my Clem at least. You weren't supposed to watch. Well, I told I did. you not to. Season one had won eighty five or something Game Over of the Year 100. awards. What are so this? Not to be, not to be Over precise. 100? <laughs> Over a hundred. Yeah, it was. I was saying it was hundred and three. Hundred and three. The number <laughs> throwing it out there. Um, but yeah, I mean, so the the game had done well. Yeah, mm. that's so true. And Telltale was one of the first real narrative pushers. Absolutely. And the, and it was the kind of like felt so different. Yeah, that was the season two was definitely the the fruits of season one. Uh, success. Yeah. Uh, he did an amazing job uh, as Carver. Absolutely, yeah. Yeah. Until I killed him. <laughs> and and Clem watched. <laughs> my Clem, at least. You weren't supposed to watch. Well, I told I you did. not to. It's okay. There's, there's going to be some darkness in the commentary for this season. Mm -hmm. Yeah, for sure. It's, it's, a bit, it's a bit of a dark game. Yeah, it is. Start it off right and say one of the problems with this season from a development standpoint was Season one was dark, but there was hope at the end. And in this season, uh, we Empire sort of lost that. Back. <clears throat> yeah, no, and we got knocked for it rightfully. Like, there was sort of an internal idea that like everything needed to go darker and more messed up, and more people needed to die than mm -hmm. season one. And it kind of pushed everything into a, a really dark, unforgiving place. And well, and coming off of, I mean, just with with the success of season one, yeah, that's it's kind of like. When you do something that's so off the charts phenomenal, you know, following doing a second yeah. act is always there's more pressure. Yeah. There's it's probably was way more intense and stressful, I imagine, to to for put you. it together. For you, well, I know, right? We yeah. have the easy yeah. part. It's like, wow, the script is awesome. Thanks, guys. We It's your decision. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Julian. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Lots of gun Aaron. pointing scenes. Oh yeah. Yeah. We do that's need right. the food. Good call. <laughs> they haven't heard of the benefits of fasting. Uh, Aaron <laughs> was also um, Molly in season one. She was. Episode yeah. four. Yeah. yeah. She's fantastic. Yeah, she's awesome. She's been in. Uh, and then she a was in Wolf, obviously. Yep. yep. So Gavin coming back for season two. <laughs> it's the best day of my life. What was it like coming back? No, so I was curious, and originally I think that they had pitched that that Kenny would be the Carver character, that he was going to go real dark and be real awful. He'd be the big bad. Um, I was just excited, you know, to have a job. Yeah. It's like, woo, keep going. Um, no, it was great to come back. Um, I like the way that his arc worked out. I mean, I would have been fine if he had been the, the big bad, you know, to me, it's just a, a challenge to take the character someplace yeah, else. Yeah, totally. But I mean, that's, it's all you guys writing it, you know? So it's like, as long as the words are on the page, it's like, my job is just to get them off of there. Well, and we were talking about that earlier about how like Fenoy was 
crying. Melissa was crying. <laughs> Nikki Rapp was crying after Larry got killed. And she was, you know, tweaked for a couple hours after that session. And then there was one where you were just just losing it in there. And then take was over and we're like, all right, you good? Yeah, man. Yeah, I'm, I'm fine. Just act, just act. You're <laughs> like, what else we got to do? I'm just acting. Yeah, it's just, it's the faucet. I turned the faucet off. It was so he great. Goes, he and goes home and sits in the dark the in fetal position. Flowing. Like, oh, God. What I'm saying is I'm here to try to make this work. If I get a cookie for that, then awesome. All I can do is promise you I won't abandon you again. Which, to be fair, I've never done before. Even though I probably should have a few times now. You don't gotta point the gun at him the whole time. You forget what we just went through? He ain't going anywhere, Kenny. No need to get your armies. I'm worried about Kenny. He's... he's in a dark place. We gotta keep an eye on him. Everything he's been through. He's lost. He'll be okay. I've known him a while. Well, it's all starting to pile up. It's weighing on him. Everyone has a breaking point. You're the only one that he trusts. That he really trusts. That means you're the one that's gonna have to pull him back. He's counting on you. If we're really going to make this work, we're all counting on you. I'll do my best. I know. Come on, slow pokes! That character with the glasses, Arvo, Orville. Arvo. Yeah. <clears throat> Orville. was named after, Orville. I believe, Steve McManus's uncle or something, who is uh, he's one of the designers on the Oh, that's season. funny. Yeah. I didn't know that. Why isn't he here? We need Steven. Damn it. So sad. The original designed ending for this was... You can say this now, probably, maybe. Yeah. Uh, Kenny say. versus Luke. Yeah, that was the oh. finale. Yeah, there yeah. was a whole <laughs> lot of Team Luke versus Team Kenny, yep, and right. I was yeah. like, "Dude, I'm reading the words on the page, and people telling me to kill myself, and I'm like, I don't know." I know, man. He's a really well, nice guy. We seem like we're friends. There uh, was, yeah, there was so much attention to, like, microscopic attention to sure. a lot of the content, and um. I did that. What was my guy's name? Uh, who was the guy that, you were all that, the guys. that fights with Clem in the woods? Um, Dion. No. Chad. No. Huh? Wesley. No. Keep going, man. Brian. <laughs> it's like, it's just, <laughs> was it Kent? <laughs> no. Yeah. Totally. Was it Woody? Nope. Oh my God! Wow, this is great. But uh, I guess going back to to the first episode of this season. I love that you're driving this bus. Yeah, you know, starting off, obviously, season one ends with Clem Tyne off on her own. Um, from from the middle of at least season one, there was talk of, oh, man, it'd be really cool to have a, a playable Clementine in season two. But it always was just a, yeah, we'll see. We'll see how the game does. We don't know if anyone's even going to, like, respond well yet. Obviously, they did. Um, and that came to be a real thing, which was super exciting. And... The original sort of intention was <clears throat> taking Clementine. Obviously, she'd sort of like built a family dynamic with these characters in season one. That was stripped of her. And now it was bringing her to a new family. Luke was sort of designed to be the, the like cool like brother, older brother type figure. Uncle. who cool Yeah, uncle, uncle. there you go. Cool uncle. Uncle Luke. Who you would get invested in and, and just be like, okay, like I can stick with this guy and keep Clementine safe. Because weirdly, a lot of people would play season two and would tell us that they were still 
they still had like a, a little bit of Lee in them, and they were like, even right. though I'm directly co- controlling Clementine, I feel like I'm kind of playing Lee. Well, that right. was a super her, traumatic ending, and people yeah. that was time. like yeah. destroyed people. The the loss of Lee, so that was, yeah. I, that's yeah, easily the moment had to reflect into made them cry, two. Yeah. 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 making grown men cry. Yeah, that's the goal. <laughs> no. So yeah, the idea was basically <laughs> setting up. Um, a dynamic where you really get to like Luke and then Kenny shows back up. Right. We knew from season one, I every know, person know. loved Kenny. Right. Just like everyone loves Gavin. It's just one of yeah. those universal things. Do. I don't know why. Yeah. It just, it just happens. <laughs> uh, and so it was building to the finale fight in episode five being between Luke and Kenny. Uh, and you basically have to yeah. choose between like old friends and new friends. Like in episode two, there's a scene where you're sitting yeah. down at the table. Either you sit with Luke yeah. And his sort of new friends, or like, you know, Kenny, and you're making choices early on building to that. Yeah. You know, Luke's feeling bad about what happened. What? Really? But it's not your fault. Bad things happen, and you can't control it all the time. She's right. You don't go blaming yourself for this. All right. Can we drop it? I'm fine. Thanks a lot. Hey, Clem, go over and see if you can change the bandages on Kenny's wound. I offered, but I don't think he was comfortable with me doing it. But you know him better than I do. Maybe he'll let you do it. Okay, I had to go. That's gonna stay, but only for a second. It's gonna clean it. Well, I know what it does. It's gonna suck. It's gotta get done. Thinking we'd go with Alvin Jr. What do you think? Rebecca mentioned she'd like to name him Alvin if it was a boy. I mean, Rebecca was so out of it she hadn't settled on a name. I think his parents would have liked that. Yeah, me too. Alvin Jr. it is. Do you like that? Well, I think AJ proves. What do you uh, got? The success of season one brought a lot of new pressures to the studio. Um, And one of the sort of core points of feedback is we had people who had never played Telltale games before being into it, but then going, oh, these are like choose your own adventures. Shouldn't I have multiple endings? Isn't that the point of these Mm -hmm. games? Right. Mm -hmm. So there was sort of a studio-wide directive to take what this was going to be and turn it into a multi-ending branch thing. And sort of along the way, some of the pieces of like Luke dying off earlier and and Jane being introduced and being a bigger role to sort of try and fill that gap. But it never quite gets there uh, because it wasn't set up from the beginning. It was a thing that sort of evolved during the course of production. Um, that said, there's people who still point to this ending and go, oh, that's it's really cool that it pays off kind of how you choose, and there's five different endings right. of states five, that can come out. Five, but it's hard. five, that was crazy. Yeah, it is crazy. I mean, but from a storytelling recording. perspective, it's hard to make, especially when you're trying to retrofit in the end, make sure. five like epic feeling Which endings. You know, We it's, were retrofitting almost yeah. from day one, where we would yeah. record, and then like we, totally. would, we would have another session to... Tweak, There's a lot of pickups and change on things. This, uh, season, so yeah. you're whispering now. Yeah, Julian would be like, "Okay, so so you're angry in this one." You're like, and then, "Didn't I?" Didn't and then I you're know, not angry. Didn't I do this like, already? I, I'm pretty sure we did this line already. And you're like, "No, I don't." Let's think just it. get it. Uh, let's just get it. Anyway. <laughs> yeah. Or the yeah, or yeah, Pierre, oh, Pierre's yeah. great line, just to have it. Yep. Just to have just it. Just to have it. For <laughs> safe. <laughs> which is which is which is like voice director for. You haven't done it yet. Yeah. We want you to do it. Or we know that when we go back to the office, things might change, and we just want to be covered. Ew, People. No, that, no, oh wait! I have to use the. I have it. to use his mechanic. Don't touch it. Winston. It was Winston. Winston. Um, I said Wilson. That yeah, was close was, enough. Come Wilson. On. So close. So close. Um, <laughs> Wilson. So we should have gotten it from there. There was so much. Um, things Ew. were. Things were in motion. No, that's that's really brutal. That looks fantastic. It's still gonna be pretty when this heals. It was really cool to step into, you know, to what it takes to be a playable character. Yeah. I mean, just being a secondary character, 
uh, for both of us in season one, you still are it's recording so, so much. <laughs> yeah. But yeah, I mean, it definitely was uh, a whole new ball game yeah. for me to like. All the look ats and, and, yeah, and yeah, yeah, yeah. And the look ats are tricky. They seem so easy. You're like, well, this, you know, this tree could come in handy, whatever, but yeah. they can't sound. These <laughs> matches might come in handy. <laughs> might want to save this for later. You know what I mean? Just, yeah. and we can, it's, it's, it's a game. It has yeah. to be in there, but it can't be this, like, it has to feel organic. It has to feel good. And it's a weird thing. You're right, because if you have to sound interested by it, right? right? Because right. a lot of those things and she's are not interested in by game. anything. They are, you're right. <laughs> <laughs> and usually you have 10 minutes left in the session, and it's yeah. like, oh shit, the look. Oh, no, you know what else we need is these 900 lines. Yeah, <laughs> totally. Yep. Right. <laughs> you were great at that. He would just go through, like, he'd record 50 lines in a row, and he's like, I got it, dude. That's, what, fine. that's what Gavin did. It's fine. Cut I do. me loose. Not yeah, just no, please, 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 please shut up. <laughs> So in this, just back to that in the transition, it's pretty funny um, because uh, when you know when I got the call, like okay, Clem's gonna be the playable character, like how woohoo, you know, super exciting. But there was also this like weird uh -oh. pressure. I think it was Mark Darren. I maybe I don't know who sent me the email, but it was like we need to get the voice down. This is really yeah. important that we transition it. You know, even though she's only like, you know, nine or 10 now, she's actually more like a badass 16 year old. And it was so difficult for me. Yeah. And I think I sent him like 17 different takes of what I thought the voice would be. And it, I was really stressing out about it. And it's so funny because it literally, it just goes from right here to literally right there. But just getting to that stressed yeah. me took, the fuck out. out. It took wow. you seven months. I was months. like, they're going to recast me. I was so stressed out no because way. there was this whole, like. They never would have well, recast Well, I know. But we didn't there was get that, that far into the recast. There was that. <laughs> 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 we tried. It just didn't yeah, work so out. that's the backstory. But it was yeah. interesting because, I mean, I literally sent, I like, 17 different. Yeah. I remember. I remember you Clem freaking would out. Maybe yeah, I remember you were. Sound like we were texting back and forth about this. Yeah, but those like, are the subtleties, want? though. That's exactly the thing that makes all the different inflections so important. Is that, um, like the lookets too, and just but just what you just did there. When you hear that, you just think, oh, it's just it's just six percent. But to I be stressed. able to, <laughs> to be able to do that, that though, 6%. that's a skill. Right. It's a skill. Well, totally. once we got there, though, and once and once I heard it, and I think I even sent that take. I'm like, oh, well, there it is, right there. But yeah. it was just like, Ugh. I, I felt that that pressure too of like, oh God, season one was so amazing. Yep. Like everything has to be, you know. It was a really an art of letting go. At one point, I was just like, I just got to let go. Yeah. As far as just the, the studio at this point in time, that was a global thing, right? Yeah, coming no off question. the success of oh, season totally, one, was, it was... Massive uh, for everybody. Yeah, it was good in some ways in that there's sort of more resources devoted and, and you're allowed to branch in certain areas. So there was things that were no, good no, about no, it, and then there was it. also yeah. things that were really rough about it. For yeah. sure, yeah. Well, and we also, yeah. we started um, working on multiple things at once. Oh, in yeah. fact, season two, oh, yeah. I was working I on Wolf Among Us. Yeah. And <laughs> you would be in there for D and Dumb, and then I'm like, can you just stick around for Kenny? And, oh, yeah. you know, it was yeah. Like, yeah, I guess I can. And by the way, for those who don't know, well, all of you in this room do, obviously, but uh, Gavin was Beast and I was Beauty. So we, oh, yeah. Yeah. So we would that, have these sessions as Kenny and Clem, mm -hmm. and then yeah, that was getting awesome. to be. That's really good. Uh, but that and was that D and was dumb. Fun. Yeah, you had a good. I was D yeah, and dumb, were. and I was beast. Oh, those recording sessions were pretty awesome, though, because I would go from like the world of dark doom and despair of The Walking Dead, yeah, and then top getting of the morning to, to yeah. Yeah, <laughs> play. It was just yeah. like this, you know. I, get I mean, to be not a the frog with a British accent. I know, perfect. Toad. I mean, not like it was a light-hearted yeah, game by any means, but it was just different. Light, it more lighthearted. More lighthearted. Yeah. yeah. Such a fun, fun game to work on. Those were those Happy were fun birthday, sessions. Luke. Yeah, man. Happy birthday. So, how old are you now? I am 27 years old. Well, that's pretty old. Sure as hell feel a lot older. Don't even start with that shit. Got out of college five years ago. Feels like a million years. At least I don't have to worry about paying off them student loans. I hear that. I'm sure there's some asshole sitting on that paperwork waiting to collect. What did you study? Majored in art history. Well, that's cool. <laughs> Sounds like you majored in working in a coffee shop. Pretty much. Oh, stop it. You get a minor in agriculture. To keep the old man happy. Oh, I almost forgot. We're saving it for a special occasion. Oh, it being your birthday and all. Figure. 
This is as good a time as any. Drink the rum. No, drink yeah. No, this is, uh, <laughs> uh, Pierre couldn't be here today, but he, um, he helped him write a lot we of great stuff. Him. And this, this was, I feel like, one of the moments this scene was something that was kind of missing from the rest of the season. Oh, very. Um, yeah, and, and so it's, it's great. I really like the scene a lot. Like, character just, building. Yeah, and, and people are sort of enjoying each other's company and not just trying to murder each other. Yeah, That's, and they're also not worried about... Well, What's Kenny, Kenny looks like he still wants to murder <laughs> yeah. somebody. Secretly. Kenny. That's just how Kenny willing looks. to let bygones be bygones for now. <laughs> He's secretly thinking, I'm going to I'm going to have a head to head with Luke at the end. <laughs> oh no, I'm going to die. I remember that. I'm going to stab him I in the fucking the, eye. So are we, can we swear on this thing? Oh yeah. Uh, hello, I, have you not I, been I listening so. to Absolutely. me for the last No, not even swear more than you were going to. Okay, cool. Cool. Fuck. Just be B Kenny. Yeah, just be him. I've been choosing lines for the definitive edition, and then Kenny has that one iconic fuck, 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 fuck. Yeah, that he does so like good. when they that find like the thing blocking the road. I'm it was putting a that truck. in. Truck. It was like a tanker, it was like a tanker truck, truck that hanging fell over that the edge the of the train. bridge. Yeah. Yeah, and he just utter that despair happens. at that moment. In the apocalypse, weird shit happens all the time. Weird driving in the apocalypse. Yeah, it's, it's true. Fire's real nice. Plenty of room if you want to get warm. Maybe in a bit. I didn't expect her to come back. Just when I thought I got her figured out, she up and surprises. It's a good thing. She saved our ass. I know. I know. I just don't know what she's getting at all this. I'm not sure about her anymore. Well, she helped us back there. So that puts her as okay in my mind. Well, it ain't no secret how you feel about it. Oh, come on. I'm just teasing. It was stupid. She's a pretty girl. Once get past all the dirty facts. I don't know. I guess I just wanted to forget about all this shit for like ten minutes. Ten minutes? Uh that's probably not glass at this point. Hey. Alright. Alright, it wasn't ten minutes. Come on. We got a little one around. Sorry. Forget I said anything. I know what you guys are talking about. I certainly hope not. You're talking about Kissing stuff. Uh, yeah. Yes, yes, that, that is exactly it. Was there any kissing? You shut your mouth right now, the both of you. Maybe she came back for you. At some point that backpack was made. I have, oh, there was like I, a have one. I have one. I Do have you? one. Yeah. Job sent us that. Oh, I was like, going to say, so Job great. and Laura had them. Excellent and things. Always, yeah. yeah they, cool. And it was full of like. It had the duck. All of it the had games. Clem's drawing of like yeah. duck and Kenny. And it had like and physical copies of all of the seasons. Of the oh, wow. seasons. How it did had we the get those? Of Lee. All I got was a what? hat. <laughs> Do you want the backpack? No, it's okay. Thanks. So. They made Clem backpacks? <laughs> Is that what I'm hearing? Yeah. yeah. I will take a I picture no and get one send it to you guys. Okay. Oh my okay. god, why did they give them to us? I, You're like, I'm, I, I'm not questioning I'm going have, with it. I shouldn't have mentioned it. I'm very uh, I shouldn't have mentioned grateful. that cool thing I got. Yeah. I feel like there was a bunch of weird semi-exclusive uh, swag items made within Telltale. I remember only, like way after the fact I got one of those tiny Buffkin statues. Oh, oh wow! Yeah, but like they yeah. were clearly not—they were clearly not for important people. Like not, they're only for important people. At <laughs> there first. was like five of them. Right. Yeah, 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 yeah. And at I one sure. point, Job was just like, "Hey, did you like direct an episode of Wolf?" And I was like, "Yeah." And he's Here. like, "Oh, here's a Buffin statue. Here, all right, take this thing. <laughs> cool. Take this yeah. trinket I had made. Yeah. yeah, I just had one in the closet, the weird swag closet. Most of the stuff I have is from the infamous day of the fire sale. <laughs> oh yeah, that was suddenly, a great. Oh man, we had the uh, Narnia at the old office, yeah. which was like an asbestos nightmare. Yeah, um, and it was. One yes. day the city was coming to look at us or something because we uh -oh. weren't supposed to be in there at all. Get rid of it. And they were like, everyone Everything take must all. Go. They, they, literally, that's what happens. They said take all this stuff, and I have like everyone just grabbed like old games and Sam and Max soundtracks. I have a Trogdor poster <laughs> still hanging <laughs> in my nice. room. I feel day. like people almost got trampled. The it was a weird like the email went out of like everyone go to Narnia now. There's free stuff, and like everybody got up from their desks, and then. Other people who didn't get the email were watching everyone else run in the other direction, and, and we're just, just like, I want running. whatever that is. Yeah, totally. Yeah. Yeah. There or, must be nachos or pizza. Or somewhere. I want to run from <laughs> what they're running from. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I wouldn't have expected a bottle to last this long. It's probably been a while for everyone. Will it work? That depends. What is it? It's rum. Probably. I don't know. It, it 
might be awkward. I wasn't expecting to. You know. Why? Because you made it with me? What does that even mean? What's the it? You know. Yeah. Because I made it with Luke. It's not a big deal. Why does this feel like I'm signing a contract or something? I really like this, this is scene. a great scene, yet. Yeah. Are you going to have her drink the rum or what? Oh, definitely. Okay, thank you. And I, <laughs> I chose the I wanted drink option earlier, and I was I was denied by Kenny, so I'm totally, well, I, totally going for that bottle. Don't you drink. I selfishly <laughs> choose those because I know that people who play it aren't going to do it because they're like, no, Clem. You know, they, they're very protective of Clem. She's too small. So I want to hear those She's selfishly. Not ready. Yeah. I take the drag of the cigarette, you know. I do all the things that are not... Man, if you, know, if you, don't, if you think you might die any second, I think you can yeah. indulge in a few vices. Right. <laughs> I mean, she is like 10. That's, right. <laughs> it's a Going little, on 28. It's a little it's much. Fine. For me, it's again, it's just, I just want to hear the audio and what, how, what was I chosen. I drink a whole bottle of this really spicy, sweet liquor. Oh, what was its name? Oh, I was dumb. Earthquake or something. Sounds like you were a bad kid. I guess I was. At the bottom of the bottle, there were these sugar crystals. And I got it in my head that I really wanted to eat a couple. So I got the bright idea to smash it on my parents' dining room floor to get at them. And it shattered into a thousand pieces all over the dining room. And I proceeded to eat what I thought was sugar candy. Wow. That's really stupid. Yeah, Clem. I was drunk. Problem with glasses, it looks a lot like sugar crystals. That's never really been a problem for me. Keep it that way. My sister found me, drunk, blood pouring out of my mouth. Jamie thought I was dying, so she called 911. They pumped my stomach. Maybe you shouldn't be drinking. You're not the first one to tell me that. I haven't thought about that in a long time. A deal's a deal. Here. That guy needs a drink more than any of us. Time to not make it weird. Wanna sit here? No. That's... I'm fine. Oh, yeah, okay. Wherever you like. Oh, here we go. Don't you Ooh. fucking do it. You just... <laughs> don't you do it. Can I know you're a big alcoholic, but what if you just took a big swig of this rum? <laughs> <laughs> oh, I guess not. He just looked at me. Oh, I'm sorry, judging. I was talking and not paying attention to those cutscenes. Oh, I don't you know what my judging. objective is. Weirdly, we're talking about nonverbals being a thing. Yeah. And um, I remember in yeah episode one of season two... There's a moment where you think Clem is at her, her darkest when she sort of gets separated from Krista and she's off on her own and there's just right. walkers all around before she gets saved. And she's just like sitting there against a rock, yeah. just like breathing. And I remember we were doing a bunch of takes of that because it was sort of like, like at the time we'd been sort of blocking it out and it's like I knew it was going to be like a 45 second thing. And it was just like, okay, so let's you know start your breathing here yeah. and then work down to this point. And I remember weirdly thinking like we're doing all this for just some nonverbal stuff that usually would just be a random like <laughs> totally. oh yeah let's get all these hundred things in totally the last right. minutes, yeah, let's but, just cover it but it was good and just I actually really sure like that we moment. have it just to have it <laughs> oh look at little worm baby AJ. don't worry I got the baby yeah. he's literally a pee in a pod glow worm glow <laughs> <laughs> worm I think I remember uh, I wasn't here for the beginning of this commentary session, but we I worked on that first bit where you're crawling toward AJ in the snow, mm -hmm. and they, I think he had to like wiggle harder so we could see him. Uh, yeah, I I, I you can't see his face. He's like you're like what is no, this object? Yeah, oh, that's funny. Well it's be. a pile of clothing. Just some rubble. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Why do I want that rubble? 
Oh, it's it's making noise. Oh, it's a baby <laughs> rubble. It demands attention. Yeah, no, these moments are really good. God, this I is some of the better stuff in the season. I like it. You need this scene because yeah. then all the death after that make then I mean, happens. And yeah. these moments were what made the game different. Yep. Exactly. You know, they yeah. were different than other. Exactly. It's point not shoots, action. Yeah. You know, this is just about dialogue mm-hmm. and getting through a narrative. Yeah, I feel like in in season one there was a lot. There's a lot more freedom of, like, write a thing and let's record it and then feel it out and tweak what we need to. And then re-record it. Yeah. yeah. Over, <laughs> over, over, over but yeah. I, I or re- like re-record s- parts of it. I mean, it was riffing, sure. yeah. The, the season two stuff was definitely more of a, like, looking at each tiny moment yeah. and sort of... Um, yeah, there's just a lot more emphasis on like the structure of things totally. and sort of like where's the button presses and good intentions behind a lot of it. But it, it can make scenes like this harder to get through. And so it's it's right. good when they do because you feel like a, a breath of fresh air. Right. And you sort of desperately need. Yeah, okay. kind of want to talk about episode one a little bit more of this season. Yeah. Kind of start at the yeah. beginning. So, so yeah, so it's like go. finding Clementine, being on her own, um, and the goal of this season was to try and get her to a place where she felt like she was, you, you'd sort of helped her become more responsible. You did that as Lee, right. uh, as kind of a parent in season one, and now directly controlling her, sort of getting her ready for the next To be a grown-ass step. lady. Yeah, there you go. Um, <clears throat> and weirdly, the, the still not bitten line from episode one was on the chopping block what? Yeah. many oh, times. That. We had to keep fighting to keep it in. Oh, my God. Because it was just seen as like, no, 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 she'll get there in episode and five. And it fight? was like, no, you got to like, yeah, that, that was a big one. Where the idea was show just a flash of what she will become someone. Right. Someday, yeah. You know. Still not bitten. Yeah. And we named yeah. the team awesome. after that line because it's so iconic. Well, so that, that like, moment was. It makes sense. Too. Yeah. I mean, that it's was like, the yeah. moment <laughs> where. <laughs> The whole we hadn't quite been bitten that team. The whole like first thirty minutes of that episode. I mean, there was just you didn't you didn't know it was all like what happened to Krista, all these you know yeah. Win, Winston, yeah. all these yeah. bad that guys, uh, Clem with Sam the dog. But then it, it's that moment oh, when she comes out of that. Oh, shed. the dog and the boat yeah. under um, upside so down. So technically, boat. she yeah. does get bit. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I'm sorry, okay? My fault. I shouldn't have. Leave me alone! So in the beginning, we had her sew up her arm. That was a oh, yeah, traumatic, yeah. crazy yeah. thing. That was Remember tough. that? Well, I woke up the next day after recording that scene, and I had bruises on my, oh, my forearm because, yeah. you know, yeah, oh, you'd be voiced. You're acting. still very oh, you physical. Pitching? Yeah, oh, I was, yeah. like, grabbing my oh, arm. Oh, my God. And, and I was like, oh, yeah, that's right. I'd I'm forgotten. human. Same with oh, in this, yeah, in this season arms. where she gets a bullet in her, like, shoulder. I was, like, pushing on yeah. my yeah. shoulder. I was like, yeah, I have a bruise. Yeah, those know. bullets Dedication. they bruise. They, they do. do, they do, they, <laughs> they do. Bruise. It was a rubber bullet. <laughs> yeah, right. It went straight fake. through. You know, <laughs> went straight through. I was, didn't was, feel was, it. The army, <laughs> was the army something at all a homage to the Lee arm cutting sequence? It was kind of a similar sequence. Man, yeah, concept. that was. Yeah, there was some, some, some of that for sure. Because it was there. Yeah, yeah, that's true. Give that was brutal. Room. Yeah. That was real life. Hopefully there aren't more of them. Yeah. Well, let's move. We don't want to be around to find out. Let's get it close. 
He's very close. He's very yeah. close. <laughs> Come. I'm Russian. Did you know? Can't you tell? Orvo. Look at me. I'm Russian. Did you guys already talk about the wackiness with the two of the Russian guys were swapped for some reason? The big guy and the skinny guy were like, were they, they both their Julian? names and they were swapped. Were they I both they were actually Russian guys. No, yeah, they I think I, that's what I heard. You actually hired... But they not, swapped not in season speaking. two. Although I, Winston was season two. You so hired you know. real Russian guys. Real yeah. Russians. Yeah, they're real. I had done that entire opening shootout scene. I was working on that scene. And at some point, for some reason, the two Russian guys swapped. That's and funny. And they, they changed don't... names and locations in the scene. Oh, interesting. And I don't know why that, that was some weird thing. That makes it fun for you. It was real fun. Yeah, yeah I bet. <laughs> Frozen so, Lake. Here's the frozen Weirdly, frozen this lake. was supposed to be covered with snow, and I don't remember where, like, what. There was a Luke, note some, somehow happened where somehow. it was like, oh, we need to make sure it looks like a lake. Luke's like, got to die they somehow. Come? Interesting. I don't remember how, how that came about. It's, well, dis- it's disappointing that Kenny doesn't know that no Americans shit speak English. Yeah, yeah I know. Yeah. <laughs> well, it's... I guess that's fine. No. no, you Why can't. No, I'm pretty sure you, you can't. Unfortunately, what if we just you lay him down and push scoot, him like a yeah, hockey puck? Like, you just might scoot. want to tread really lightly right now. Yeah, I've just scooted across. And Kenny's red scare is really coming out in this episode. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, just get on your belly and slide, people. I remember thinking that out loud too. Yeah, like, totally. One of the dark, right? like the, the third. Batman movie just slide across. They're like walking across the ice, and it's like, why doesn't everybody just like belly crawl across yeah. the ice? Make Distribute yourself as your flat as yeah. possible, or love. just go around this. Or just go. Like, it's not that. Yeah. It's not I like know. you know Tahoe it's not, here. It's, not like, <laughs> it's pretty crossable. <laughs> totally. <laughs> I mean, go aroundable. We don't have time to waste. It's I guess. an extra yeah. twenty minutes. I, honestly, maybe. it might have been. Right <laughs> it really there. is beautiful, though. That it was shot probably is really a technical limitation, limitation of like it was probably written as, Uh-oh. "Oh, this is a vast expanse," and then right, right. In the engine, it was like, "Oh, we need to make it." Don't actually limp. Smaller. You're so. the PC, our, Clem. You'll be fine. Don't limp. By our <laughs> engine standards, this is a pretty vast. Oh, it's a big now there's zombies. Where the heck did they Handless come from? Handless zombies. Well, she did have to shoot a walker. They heard the crack in the ice. Oh yeah, not us talking about it. <laughs> oh, oh no, Luke. Maybe now that we've seen that happen. Your future. Yeah. Oh, hey. Yeah. Well, just go. You know what? Just James go, looking on the bright side of things. <laughs> just keep uh, going. He's out. Like, fuck yeah. Fuck yeah. This, I'm oh gone. yeah. Now he's mm. just completely arvo you piece focused. Of, I remember. You I remember piece of all shit. this. Fuck. There you go. <laughs> you just naturally slip into it. Right back. There into was. It. There was like. There was a session during season two. Yeah. I don't remember why. Probably because I had commuted from San Carlos to yeah. Fairfax, which is, if you don't know, that's if you're crazy. not from the San Francisco it's, Bay it's Area, that's the bottom to the top, which is tough um, in the mid, in middle of the day. And pretty much after every line, I, for whatever reason, would say, fuck. fuck. Yeah, totally. <laughs> that was great. <laughs> fuck and, and you, And the notes Bonnie. would say, edit that out. Yeah, I would hope so. The commute got you into character. Be careful now. Those were tough days. Yeah. I can make it. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. So Scott came into this I've session this. and he kind of read ahead what was coming. And he's like, It was not good. Come on. Man. <laughs> Ooh. That's how I'm going to. Really? Yeah. This is. And then Dennis was there saying, It's not what I wanted. I'm sorry. <laughs> yeah, totally. I had a I fought vision. 17 yeah. fights to get it this way. Mm-hmm. It was You should have seen how they effort. wanted you to die. <laughs> oh, jeez. I'll help the Luke. Yeah. No, it's honestly one of the reasons why it's hard looking at this stuff because I'm trying to remember. It's like I'll see the thing on screen and You're go, oh, is that? Why? I thought I thought that part was different why? because right. of this that other happened. thing. Right. It's like, yeah, trying to remember. Oh, Clem. Aww. So good. She's so good. Just want the nice boy to live. I want that puffy jacket. Uh-oh. Oh, my God. Whoa. Oh, but managed to not drown. Yes. So you killed, yeah. you killed Yikes. Luke. Yikes. It's your fault. Well, come on. This is scary. Well, yeah. Oh, oh of course. To make matters worse. <laughs> Naturally, there's some weirdo floaties. In yeah. <laughs> floaties. The guy just lived under the lake even before Floaters. he was a zombie. <laughs> <laughs> He's just like, man, I've been here what for he like did? 200 years. <laughs> <laughs> Finally, I got to come back. A real oh, life. saved me from that zombie. That's fantastic. That's cool. Uh-oh. Oh, he didn't yeah. Oh, no. Uh-oh. My heart will go on. <laughs> <laughs> 
Yeah. Luke going down is a pretty iconic shot. That's yeah, pretty it's... awesome. Yeah. As Shit. sad as it is. Now we're just going to have a zombie Luke in the water forever. That was it. See you, wow. Scott. Sorry. Sorry, Scott. We love you. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, Auto. no, Scott, I remember from the first session, he was, I, I was only in a piece of it, but he yeah. was, uh, he was stoked to be in the game. Oh, totally. Like, like season one, and was, yeah, like, he was yeah. came in with a bunch of enthusiasm. Of yeah. He also had uh, cool. great ideas, too. A lot mm -hmm. of that stuff kind of got tweaked uh, on the fly. Yeah. <clears throat> Sometimes I felt like he was the only one outside of the process enough to be focused on what was really going on. Like, That's funny. Yeah. He, you know, he didn't have any noise around him, and it was just mm -hmm. like, oh, so what you're trying to do is blah, blah, mm -hmm. blah. Yeah. Any uh, episode three comments? Kenny, episode three comments with Carver? It was fine. <laughs> That's all you have to say about it. I don't remember what happened. Well, like Kenny and Carver and Kenny. Oh, yeah, he beat he beats bashing Kenny him. Up. Yeah. yeah. Well, yeah, no, yeah. that wasn't good. <laughs> but then, but then yeah. Kenny killed him sure. back, and that was that was fine. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Kenny killed him back. Didn't you though? <laughs> I remember that Carver should have said no backsies. <laughs> then it no fine. backsies. Yeah. I remember Carver's face getting mashed and having just a loving amount of damage. To it. It's like yeah. an unbelievably yeah. yeah. So yeah. it changes so like weird. five or seven times. Yeah, yeah totally. Yeah, it's yeah. super bad. Yeah, it's like whoa. He's not com He's not coming out of that. Yeah. He is dead. Beans. <laughs> <laughs> oh, chili. Chili's Can of good. fucking chili. You Kenny, stop it. Just stop. Another just like it. He wasn't lying. You want to tell me how a can of fucking chili is gonna help? How me? is beating a kid to death gonna help anyone? This is your fault, and you damn well know. Well, Fuck is it you, though? Bonnie. I think you know what. I feel fault. like yeah. I want to kill him. <laughs> Well, that was, <laughs> there was a lot of that this season that's that Clem Joe, had to put that's up what Joe with. Wanted. Yeah. Clem had to put up with all the adults just being a bunch of like, just kind of morons, really. Everybody blaming each other. That's what being an adult is. I know, that's right? Yeah. Constant You blame. resort to being a moron. <laughs> when you're an adult, you just take hostages and blame each other. I'm going to tie this fucking Russian to a staircase. <laughs> Clem's just like, God, what is wrong with you idiots? It's not even a finished staircase. It's like a framed out house. There's no sheetrock. This will come shiv. in handy. There's not even any insulation. This is a cool setting, actually. It yeah, is. it is. Yeah. Is there anything behind why it was a, a unfinished house? Well, it would have been finished remember. had the yeah. zombie apocalypse yeah. not... That's right. I mean, that's just contractors stop working when they. Yeah. Sense. Well, I guess we should throw in the <laughs> towel. Half my guys are zombies. Sorry. <laughs> I guess they did get pretty lucky. Is it with symbolic the ski of them? <laughs> the ski resort was super nice. Yeah. Mm -hmm. was, yeah. Totally. They the had lodge peaches. Was fancy. A Christmas tree. Yeah. No, it's it's uh, a lot of our favorite choice in the season is the sit next to Luke or sit next to Kenny. The like, lunchroom. Just, yeah. People struggled with that. It's so funny how it's such, like. The consequences, it's such a high school scene. Yeah. You know, but it feels great. I almost wish we'd done it's more Nick games Brecken. where yeah. like just social stuff like that was the stakes. Yeah, yeah. totally. Yeah. Because <laughs> unfortunately everything's fucking life or death. I know. Yeah. Yeah. But yeah. it could be everything is Yeah. Oh no. You gotta justify those QTEs. You gotta be you know, oh, <laughs> that. It's not like, how do I put on my prom dress with QTEs? You can't do that. <laughs> I can't believe he's gone. I've lost people before, but I just hasn't felt this, this shitty in a while. He cared about you too, Jane. I know he did. God damn it.
okay. Yeah. Pretty in pink. Uh, the did game. you work with Kamel? Um, Jillian, were you in for the yeah, session? Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, well, oh. so Pierre was the. I didn't go down for that one, and Pierre was there. It's funny because that was he was shooting something down there, and we were working with probably the Silicon agent. Valley. It does. probably was, but we were working with the agent with his agent and um, trying to set up a car, and it turned out that the lot that he was working on was really close to the studio, and so then. The agent came back and he goes, "He's gonna self-drive." And so self-drive. Then, oh, so then he <laughs> self-drive with his own feet. So, yeah, so then we were. That was a, that was funny because we all were. It was a term. Yeah, I had a weirdly I, official. That's I, so I, L.A. And you know, oh Melissa self-driving? always self-drove. Sure? I self-drove my ass. But what was funny is then we we were across the bay. He obviously is a funny dude, and he's like. I'm like, you know, you didn't have any trouble getting here. He goes, no, no, and I'm like, did you did you self-drive? He goes. Actually, the lot's right next door. I walked. I <laughs> self-walked. I self-drove with my feet. I th- if, correct me if I'm mistaken. I know his wife. I feel really bad. I'm forgetting her name. Oh, yeah. um, they Amy? they are also fans. He's very he oh, familiar with yeah. the universe. So he told he was me he was a fan in. of me, which I thought yeah. was Yeah, nice. well, we met him at Comic-Con fiction. at yeah. the Skybound party. Like, no, and he was like, no, you're not. Clem. Yeah, no, he, Come on. He knew. Get out of here. He knew who we were. So that's uh, cool that, uh, you know, that yeah, he was psyched to work on the game. And it was, and it was definitely like that. Content was not like that's not his wheelhouse. And he, um, and he, you took most of the funny stuff out, didn't you? I didn't do anything. Somebody I, took the funny <laughs> stuff. I out. didn't do it. <laughs> he read what we gave him. Yeah. Um, but yeah, that was fun. And and all of those were the Michael Madsen one was really fun. And um, I'm trying to remember. Well, Scott was a kind of a long term thing. Yeah, there was one point where you guys um, actually speaking of the difference of recording in L.A. and the Bay Area. You and uh, Jason Latino, this was season two, right? Sent us like a picture of you yeah. on a yacht I knew or that something, was kinda, yeah. <laughs> traveling mm-hmm. around. I don't know, Marina hey, Del man. Rey, wherever you were. Well, it was, it was. So, it was so the big us, leagues, man. So we were up up north recording. So yeah. me, Mark, Eating Darren, uh, Dara, and uh, oh, that's right, Dara. The and shit Joel Rob. Who I was have recording. that picture. Yeah, so yeah. we went and stood stood in a bathroom stall, like sur- yeah, the shit by villains. Oh, we all we all <laughs> I remember that stall. standing around a toilet. I have that saying, picture. Oh yeah, well here we are. Yeah, I have that. I have that photo too. And then yeah, you named it the shit villains. Well, what happened? there i think i i either said it or on the season two one on season one one or we were talking about there was a margarita mix session too that you sent that was you just sending pictures of the margaritas Mm. you were drinking while you were recording and it was not to knock studio 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 no not at all home that was second oh no trust me i I lived a lot of my life in that chair but i um no the the assistant came in and said um i forget the studio owner's name right now 740 sound but she um she goes. He wants to. Uh, he wants to take you out on his boat after the session. Is <laughs> it, are you guys cool with that? And Jason and I kind of looked at well, each other. Yeah. And Jason's like, I think the only right answer here is is yes. We're like, yeah, yeah, we're good. <laughs> and then we just wanted to get done. Like, yeah. all right, well, yeah, that's good. Move on. Move no, that's on. That's fine. Great. That's fine. Yeah, One take great. is good. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, we went on the. Boat. I don't think we need this second page. I think we can skip these yeah. lines. <laughs> I don't yeah. think we need even a single take. And of then those. we get on the boat and no we coverage. go out and it's like. He's got it. It was like it was catered, and I thought, wow, oh, this is great. We should, yeah, this is, I like Let's recording. Record here I all love, the time. This is wonderful. <laughs> and I'm sure that was the intention. Yeah. But, um, yeah, I remember that. You guys were back um, in Fairfax. In Fairfax. Yeah. No, and honestly, I love the, Fairfax. But the thing is, though, the, the funny, I mean, it's in. funny, I but, it. but the, there was this whole, it wasn't really tension, but there was a palatable. Thing that was happening then, where these celebs were getting cast, and we had come from this little family of people that were all doing our thing, and that's how we did season one, and then it started expanding. Well, yeah, because there were sessions where you couldn't be. Th- I mean, yeah, I it was, was here, here right? Exactly. Was. Yeah. It was. It got a little distance yeah. as far as like the separation. Or yeah, I feel like that's when the remote recording sessions. And then that started, and yeah. that yeah. we really had. Well, we had to do it for. Um, for um, we did it for Thrones, but we did it for um, Wolf Among Us because there was a lot of actors. Um, yeah, you had talent in Georgia or something like that, or you everywhere. people in weird places. Was, I yeah. mean, we recorded for Thrones. We had Kit Harrington was in Budapest and and Budapest is where there was. Budapest. Um, you, you Budapest. know, it's kind of just the times, though. I think we were saying on another, I think the season one uh, yeah. commentary that it's been a long this, day for you. This I know it was some season. I think it was I don't season know, eight, like nine and a half hours ago. <laughs> yeah. I'm saying yeah, totally. this, but the this it also just kind of uh, just 
with the success of season one and, and games in general yeah. becoming more cinematic, I mean, that was just kind of the natural. It yeah. wasn't just Telltale Games. Things I know, but were it, becoming oh, more totally. remote. And, it just happened. Like, it did break up our little our little right. group. And um, to some extent. And then, and but the remote thing, too, uh, that's just kind of a way of oh life now. Oh, my God. Clem yeah. is smoking. Totally. Oh, she it took was really the well animated, Whoa. too. Yeah. A lot of, like, I don't remember stuff that. On there. <laughs> She's oh. all... <laughs> yeah, she's. <laughs> so, lung yeah. cancer. I'm already infected with zombieism. <laughs> That's what she should have said. Still not bitten. <laughs> Still not <laughs> bitten by <laughs> nicotine. <laughs> Still not cancer. Uh, um, yeah, no, you're right. It's like as time passed, everything just turned more and more remote, yeah. which has advantages sometimes, but it's also yeah. a, a sort of bummer, especially because like going back in even the early days of Telltale and mm -hmm. um, you know Sam Max and everything, like <clears throat> there was that always kind of face to face in person. Yeah. It's great for, recording. I think what I like to do is I like to kick sessions off with people and then then you can come back mm -hmm. and do the, the recordings. Sure. Cause you, the one thing that's great about remote is you're able to, um, your job is to get the voice. And if you're just, you know, mm -hmm. if you're watching someone, I mean, we always would just look at the script, but then you're reading and it's weird. So it's kind of nice to have just this voice from beyond coming out. But um, people still prefer, <laughs> I think people, I mean, even though it is more remote now, I mean, there's a lot of clients that we oh, want them in. Especially the interactive studio. where you got to be there. Yeah, you have you to just be Oh, there. totally. No, it depends on what you're doing, I think. Yeah. Um, and it's helpful as, you know, uh, as the actor, yeah. uh, I mean, on this, on the final season, uh, there were a lot of remote sessions where uh, either I would be in LA and Jack was in the Bay or whatever, you know, Kent and you know yeah. they were all up at the Bay. But at least we had the the I had the big screen Skype situation. Sure, so yeah, I still mm. cool. <laughs> saw we can see each other from various yeah, screens. Yeah, yeah, right. yeah, when you don't have at least a, a picture to it, it's a little weird. Yeah, to just yeah that's voice. true. But. <laughs> But know. I'm also a people person. I'm from Missouri. I yeah. just yeah. like company. I don't need any people. <laughs> I'm from Northern California. Yeah, I know, right? <laughs> no, it's yeah, fine. I don't. Like I don't see you, gone. and you don't see me. That's yeah, perfect. You don't want to see me. <laughs> but I mean, we did do. We did a majority of Thrones and a lot of Wolf um, remotely. So it just, yeah. I mean, it just depends on. It also the depends sitch. on the, the pace at which you need to produce. I was going to say that's another big thing with <clears throat> with the studio switching from doing sort of one game at a time to trying to take on multiple right. projects at once is like you end up having to slot in. You know, it's like oh, I have meetings all day till four, but we can have a, a pickup session from four to five. Exactly. To get those lines, so I can go into the review afterwards, and everything was sort of right. stacked. In. Totally. Yeah, I feel like you guys, yeah. yeah, Telltale by season two was definitely like just like do -do 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 -do, like expanding and taking on yep. so many projects. And, and instead of just working on one title, it was, yeah, it was turning into like kind of madness. No, and, and ultimately, too, teams were trading back and forth between projects. Like yeah. you would have, Absolutely. Um, you know, animators would come on for five days while they're on a different project it's like they know they're on game of thrones waiting for yeah a scene to come in so they get lent out to the different project uh, and yeah. come in and do a few animations and totally. then go back and so it's really hard how did people you know, feel were there people that just jived with that or yeah, were they like ah, oh, it's is mostly really bad did they sleep in their cars yeah yeah i know right it's well, like a, it's a mathematical solution to a problem that is a creative thing you yeah can't, yeah most and people wanted to just be on something for yes. a while right they exactly. just soak sure. into it and own the scene and, yeah, and actually yeah. really get to exactly process yeah. it as a yeah. cohesive whole no and like, nobody wants to come and be a mercenary for like one shot or whatever. exactly right. yeah. and you would lose that sense of ownership so it was really this this season two uh, was was tough on the team and and it started people had to learn a new way, way of working where it yeah. wasn't it used to be sort of i am owning this piece of content right and you, and you really carry it invested around in it. yeah you, exactly yeah. and it's like now you were coming in and you didn't really know like the person who had the scene before you right got to a certain point but then there was a bunch of changes out of a, rev a review and so now you're being brought in to make those changes but you right. don't really know the intention of the original totally, scene yeah. it's, it's mm -hmm. really tough yeah I would I would almost always just bulldoze over what was there before if I had time yeah, to do so, right. and I know a lot of people yeah. did too because it's like yeah. everyone worked kind of a different way technically and stuff too, so it's really hard to work in Absolutely. someone else's chores if mm -hmm. they'd already like set it all up for sure. And it was kind of yeah. hard to understand what their intended flow was for the whole scene. Yeah, and and g getting to know that the final product on screen was something you owned was easily one of the best things about working at Telltale, mm -hmm. especially sure. in the early days. It's like everything about that final shot is is because of me. me. Yep. And it was hard when you couldn't say that. Right. Well, and that mm -hmm. all comes back to when you said, you know, uh, after season one, the, the scrutiny grew, but the 
the the products you know there was more SKUs, there was more people and um the problem is um you know the pace that we had to work at was insanity yeah it was nuts and and i would talk to other people working on other projects and like i talked to this one guy and he's like yeah you know i like to book all the actors and we just go out to dinner and we talk about the script, and I'm like, "What's that like? You what do? fucking world do you live in?" <laughs> that exists. Like, I couldn't believe it. I, I actually, mean, I actually, I there got are people that see like, the you script mean before you're in the, the shoot. Did yeah, totally. What? And Video I was games? like, "That's like okay," because yeah. I yeah. work in the games industry. Yeah, yeah. yeah me I don't too, think right? I saw a script <laughs> yeah. until we were recording. Oh, I yeah. saw yeah. it when I I loaded it on. Sometimes, sometimes you would you would like email it to me in advance, but generally that's pretty rare. Yeah. No, yeah. it was it was tough, yeah. and, and I think, you know, a lot of the, a lot of the problems that came out of this season, I think, were, were due to the studio sort of switching gears to a new thing, and it and it was mm-hmm. sort of a natural fallout of, yep. of a of a company trying to grow that quickly and, and sure. take on a bunch of new projects, Coming which was because of the success. success of season one. Yeah. So exactly. It's, you know, it's hard to to sort of like fault um, some of the things that happened where you. You kind of look at it in retrospect and say, "Yeah, it's easy, like, easy to look in retrospect." I see yeah. the intention was to try and get to this place, right? The, but the reality was, it didn't happen, right? And it's you know, it's uh, it's tough. It's also like it was definitely a genie in the bottle for season one, and a lot of that was time. It was just like stars aligning, mm-hmm. and and just like good albums, you know, following something up is is hard in in itself. And that said, season two was awesome. Like, no. Season two, yeah, yeah I was yeah, gonna say. Good. I know we started just, off dark. Yeah, but it's still <laughs> yeah, fantastic. Basically. But it's not the yeah. it's not it the first amazing. time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, yeah. Right. It's more of like there's great pieces in it. I feel like. Yeah. But then <clears throat> one of the one of the things that I definitely hundred percent agree with is the fact that the hope is missing, and that's one of the things that makes yeah. The Walking Dead as a franchise like uh, something interesting. Is that yeah, you know, totally. even though how messed up it is, there's always like some bit of good you can see somewhere that's keeping like some people going yeah and i think that was lost and and a lot of this you know these episodes were written by a, basically every episode by a different person right. who some of them were like you know coming in not knowing some much were about brand the new yeah exactly it was just like <clears throat> everyone was uh was trying their best but yeah it was uh it's it's tough to sort of orchestrate all those pieces i mean like even with any any game it's and like when you think about it, you're like, I can't believe this thing actually got made and shipped and people oh, played yeah. it. And this one, I feel like, was especially rough just because of the the time that it happened in the studio and all the changes that right. were going on. Wow, he's nice. Oh. He's a really, really, <laughs> really nice guy. Uh, well, oh, the fans. Wow. It was hard for me to be this. such a nice guy. It was really tough because I'm a total dick. So right. this was much harder. <laughs> yeah, regardless uh, of all the all the details that we give, I mean. The fans totally like just devoured yeah. this. No, and even they were very and, nice. Yeah. Yep. Very no, supportive there's, of the season. <clears throat> there's lots of uh, even some of the stuff that we disagreed with because it wasn't sort of what the intention was had its own merits. And there's a lot of people out there who liked right. certain things. And, exactly. And some of the stuff that like we didn't intend it and happened as an accident that people really liked. Right. And some of it they didn't, and it's it was you know it was a good yeah. It's hard when you're process. close to it too to. to because sure. you know what you wanted it to be, or you know about all the it was supposed to be this, mm-hmm. but it is what it is, and people that's how they yeah. ingested it, you know. <clears throat> well, and and to be fair, there's you know parts of many great Telltale games that started off differently, and then sort of you know either because oh, yeah. of fan, fan feedback or just sort of you get a better idea halfway through the season of yeah. how a reveal can pay I off. And, Mike, it have so. more sense. They're scared of you, Kenny. Well, if their big plan is to wander around in the woods, they ought to be scared of more than me. Did you hear me? We're all scared. Look, we got maybe a day's worth of food for that kid left. That's it. Clem, think about Rebecca and Alvin. I mean, what if Lee hadn't gone tearing across half of Georgia looking for you? A lot of folks died to make that happen. A lot of folks died to get us this far. I know. You're right. Someone's got to keep this group together. That kid's depending on us. (sighs) I wish Lee was here. All right, what would he say? I think he would, uh... Trust no one. That he doesn't have all the answers. (laughs) That's that's the most reasonable choice for me, that option. (laughs) 
Especially yeah, now right? that we've done a season four and Ghostly is like, I had no plan. <laughs> right, right. I didn't know what I was doing. Well, and Clem kind of, And Clem know, echoes it. Echoes that to AJ, right. Yeah. Isn't there, this is again going to make me show my lack of memory. Um, <clears throat> how many flashbacks are there in this season? In the season? In season two. I think just one. Just, just this? The I one, right? I think it ended with one. Uh, originally, episode two was supposed to be, it was all structure around flashbacks. So it was like you get a lot of uh, heard about new that, information yeah. about things um, and in relationship dynamics. Yeah, there was like three or four of them. You found out what happened right after season one ended, like so it's oh, Clem walking right. off oh, wow. and then how oh. she came to Kristen across Krista. Like, oh, I remember. Yeah. Remember the the tree on the horizon? Yeah, yeah. At the end, yeah. And there's two people. Yeah, right. Yeah, there the was mystery. yeah there was a scene that was set there. Yeah, it was kind of like what uh, happened right after. It was really cool. Oh, weird. Yeah. Interesting. That is something I always wa- I always wanted to see what happened mm-hmm. there. Oh, we'll find it. Hank Someday. Tuck can. I made a, a fake ending for season one after because it was so depressing when yeah. we were making it. Was, yeah. <laughs> so I took the at Telltale, like obviously there was a bunch of games that had been made previously, and all the assets work in the same tool. So I just brought in um, an island from Monkey Island. Oh my god! And that's then great. I had uh, Lee and Clementine sitting on a beach. Like basically, sort of like they'd somehow escaped on a boat, and they're just on this sm- small <laughs> island in the. the this is all right, Clem. I want to yeah. see that. So I want to <laughs> see that. Oh my god, that sounds fabulous. Yeah. <laughs> it was just peaceful, just like the waves and like birds chirping. Oh, that's right. wonderful. <laughs> the world has now seen that Sean Ainsworth thing, where Lee just oh, yeah, the crazy his gauntlet. way through the it's gauntlet. Really yeah, I think it's so fantastic. It's so good. I don't know about that for so many years. I was so glad it just got dropped as soon as Tom. <laughs> yeah, totally. Yeah. That was pretty funny. Oh, actually, another fake thing I made. I make a lot of fake things. They pay me to make things that aren't real, I guess. You're a hard creative work director. Or hard work or hard work. Exactly. Yeah. That's your job, right? Yeah. Right. yeah. Making fake uh, things is our job. I made a fake trailer for season two when we were just sort of like prototyping some things and we'd gotten some of the art assets in um, where it was um, it was just like a slow, it faded in, a slow push in on um, <clears throat> sort of like a little makeshift grave, you know, of, of a couple pieces of wood put yep. across, and then there, uh, you see it from afar, and it's the camera sort of, as it gets closer, um, you see the name Clementine scratched into it. Yeah. Um, and the, I just remember showing people who weren't working on the season, and they were like, Clementine dies in the, what the <laughs> hell is happening? But then at the seasons. end, like, a little flower came in, and like, Clementine had sort of walked by and seen it and like put a little flower uh, like on uh, the thing of just like oh, I feel like I might, have cool. I might have seen that yeah. you might have showed that what Clementine was just like fucking with us yep trolling you or I was trolling, trolling you, you. Clementine fucks right. with you What guy? I want to kill him. <laughs> that guy? <laughs> he did beat the shit out of Arvo. Yeah. Really, he was really not doesn't very nice deserve to it. Arvo. Mm. This is where I wish Pierre was Arvo. here to talk more about episode three because there's a lot of really good stuff in episode three that I uh, can't remember the details of. Yeah. Episode three felt like I it got gutted it to me looking at it from the outside. It, it went through. It went through a bunch, yeah. So this is where you were pinching your arm. No. Yeah, well, when <laughs> the bruising, uh, pressing your shoulder. I think when she wakes up. Oh, okay. It's only when she's got to sound like she's in pain. Yeah. Yeah. That's the only time. Fair. Like right here. But there's probably some phenomenal Ow. breathing happening Ow. right now. Yeah, there is. <laughs> uh, and those Titanic guys crouching <laughs> around a wall. <laughs> yeah. Look at that. Yeah. Make sure that the lens fogs up. <clears throat> That's an extra hundred grand. I do love the Lee flashbacks. 
or not flashbacks, dream sequences. <clears throat> yeah. I think a lot of people lost their shit at this point. They're like, wait, was it all a dream? Mm -hmm. Oh my god, Lee's alive! <laughs> yeah. I just I'm got both arms! Thank god. I can't wait to redo that train puzzle. Oh, dear. Yeah. Right? <laughs> Trying Here. to get around drunken Kenny. Get off <laughs> of my train. Time to fight, I guess. Yeah, Kenny was such a... Well, I mean, he did just lose his, you know... Twenty for the, for the uh, wife. And he had whiskey. And, yeah. <laughs> whiskey and death. It's a dangerous combination. This is like a season four thing. We were trying to do the we were do, there's a lead like dream sequence in season four. And at first we were trying to do a flashback and kinda of like this one, because we were trying to figure out some other like niche in the canon it could go, right? Mm -hmm. Like where's like an empty scene we could pretend that there was an unseen Lee and Clementine scene like this one until we eventually realized, oh we'll just make it a dream. Pick an R V. <laughs> but uh, it was it was it was, we couldn't find a, a good place for it where they would be able to talk about something that was relevant to like yeah. the, current, right. the current scenario like this one is. This one was kind of like I don't think you could ever do this trick again. Right. I can drive. But I it thought fits perfectly here. I can drive. I thought uh, I loved where where the season four dream sequence the dream comes in. Yeah, it ends you up. You know, before a stressful battle, just gotta yeah. find some yeah. wisdom from Lee. It ends up serving a different purpose in this mm. one, but it still works really nice. So this is cool because like this scene feels like it totally could have happened in season mm -hmm. one, except for the slight meta knowledge that you are talking to Deadly. Right. <laughs> it's a deleted scene. <laughs> Cutting room floor stuff. Why did Lily yeah. do that to Carly? She just, I, I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> None of us really do. She was sad, Clem. Her dad got salt licked, and she just <laughs> yeah, <laughs> lost it. That's it. rough. Like, I mean, oh, I don't man. know. I don't know how you deal with that. I forgot about that. Uh, yeah. Another fine Kenny moment. <laughs> yeah. What the fuck? What am I supposed yeah, I to know. do? I got a salt lick and he's dying. Larry. He's dead. Died deserved it. <laughs> got a Larry his brain. Was. He would yeah. have been a very large zombie. Yeah. And really angry. Yeah. 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 Really, really large, really angry. angry. I mean, it's something I wanted to ask in season one to you, Dennis, actually. Mm -hmm. I remember we looked, there was an animated short called The Blackwater Gospel. If you, I don't know if you recall oh, that. Yeah. It was like a, a very heavy inspiration for the visual style of the season. Sure. And it had like all these like black lines on it and stuff. And Larry looks like a character from that short. Oh, like he looks like he could fit in it totally. Yeah. Easily. Like everyone, like there, other characters had like weird hook nose and stuff like he had. And I don't know if you remember. Yeah, him. I don't, he was, I don't he remember. Was, he's the most exaggerated yeah. character it definitely I think, is, in the yeah. entire cast. And he's Larry. awesome looking. Yeah. He is more stylized. Yeah. I love Larry's mm. design. Me too, Clem. Me too, and sweet Pete. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> What can I do you to make it better? Shoot a kid. You never should have thrown him with trash like that in the first. 
Sanders' place. I can't believe they did that. I don't think they knew what they were doing, except trying to get away. Yeah, well, they're gone now. Good fucking riddance. Now that Clem's awake, we should talk about where we're going. We're headed north. What, to find Wellington? You sure talk a lot of shit, but you got a better plan? We head south, back to house. Carver's camp? the fuck kind of plan is that? I think Bonnie These two, my goodness. Why? I mean, Mom and Dad, stop fighting. I know. Ugh. It's like maybe she should Just be in the get back divorce seat already. So arguing. <laughs> I think I need Clem to lay down. Well, she, fair. yeah, she just got, woke up from her. With a bullet wound. Shot dream sequence. wound yeah. dream sequence. Look, even if there is some place up here, it could take us weeks to find it. We could get back to house in a day. Tell you what, we can turn around just as soon as you pry this wheel from a cold, dead fingers. How's that sound? Whatever. I give up. Were those shots originally supposed Get to have, your feet like, come moving dash. the camera like it was the first <laughs> car? I don't know. Yeah. Like, these shots, oh. yeah. Yeah, yeah, no, there's definitely definitely symmetry to stuff from uh, from season one. Yeah, I mean, we've done a car scene before. That's probably yeah. the most iconic, one of the iconic You're both being scenes. children. Stop being children, Mom and Dad. Her waking up with the, the eye eyelid effect. Oh, yeah? Stuff like that. Just, too. Yeah. Kenny's depth perception for driving must be great right now. <laughs> it's all white. What's it matter? That's true, yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> None of them are equipped to drive very well yeah. right now. I mean, they're not even looking. Yeah, I know. Yeah. There could be a car. He's driving coming. full on sideways. <laughs> <laughs> There's no traffic in the apocalypse. Shut up. Stop it. At least Stop he's not doing, doing the, the, like, the film actor thing of like the, you know, wrenching the oh, wheel yeah, back right, and forth. Right, right. 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 Driving ne never looking road. forward. <laughs> yeah. I liked on, on season two, I mean, again, I mean, just all my love to the writers and just how <sighs> insane insane how, how they nailed down the characters but it was in this season that we start to see that edge of Clem and yeah. she like swears a couple times but totally. there's a really good balance of her not just being like you know shut the fuck up you know she's yeah, still she still was in this it. like yeah um, mm -hmm. and, but it was enough that we see that yeah she's also not gonna be you know she's gonna be Large and in charge. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it's crazy given that it's like four different games and like almost different creative teams and every single one of them that like Clem's arc mm -hmm. of like growing up kind of works yeah. across like four different releases of a franchise. Yeah, no, that, I was going to say that's one of the most impressive things probably about the, the Walking Dead Telltale game as a, as a whole is there was so much going on. <laughs> Uh, on every one of these different seasons, yeah, and crazy circumstances and different projects, fighting for resources oh, and all shoot. this, and somehow uh -oh. it came together. It yeah. is a, a testament to uh, to everyone there, just yes. well, figuring that, out a way to make it work. And that's yeah. exactly yeah. what it was. It was because people were so dedicated, mm -hmm. and and just realized this isn't ready. Right. God, it like always happened the last minute too. Like every single project was just like. This is never ever gonna work ever. Mm -hmm. Last two weeks. Oh, I guess it's good now. What the heck? Yeah, <laughs> what happened? What, happened? Yeah. what is going anyway, on? Yeah. Here's a, uh, a thing. I think I might have mentioned this to you, Kent, before. Mm -hmm. But like, <clears throat> yeah, Telltale game. Like, if you had, if there was five, six weeks development on it, <clears throat> depending on the episode of like the whole team sort of working in earnest to get all the animations and the cinematics and everything in. Uh, even an extra few days goes a long way in that oh, kind yeah. of schedule. And in it bums me out. Episode two of season one. Um, that I directed at the end, we got an extra week of polish. So there's a version sitting on a server somewhere uh, that has like way more like sound and music cues and right. all sorts of polish really? in it. And and there was like an extra week of, of cinematic polish with the whole team. Like it's, I and episode two of season one, season yeah, Damn. episode two. So many hidden Where treasures. <laughs> it, what happened was they, uh, we passed cert on accident. Oh, so it got submitted thinking oh like oh this one's gonna fail but then we're gonna release oh, the polished one and when no. it passed the decision was made of like let's just move on to the next episode and oh, save a week oh my god and uh and then and then i think after when the first sort of redone edition was was happening it was i think it was too expensive to to re-qa oh. the whole episode so so yeah somewhere there's a computer with that's <laughs> a amazing. way more polished version which it's tough yeah. right? Meanwhile, 
At the car. <laughs> Back to the zombie. Yeah. I love the whiteout conditions yeah. in this whole last It's scene. hard to see. All right, I'm yeah. going to say another Snowy. crazy thing. Oh, please. Uh, it's actually yeah, a creepy movie. Another potential ending things. to this season. Oh. This this never made it into production. Uh, everything changed before it was really taken seriously, but there was a pitch that was circulating for a while where it was going to end with... Basically, we're all playing Journey and really like the <laughs> end where you're just holding forward and it's uh, you know whiteout conditions. Yeah. And so yeah. this... There was... A thought of it basically ending. Um, I think there's a sound thing going on that yeah, maybe is that? isn't it's supposed to. It does sound. Okay, it's gonna go away. <laughs> Scene's over. Okay, uh, cool. Am I still picking up on microphone? Telltale. Yeah, I can hear. You. Okay, good. Yeah. Um, she was basically gonna be walking with holding AJ at the end into this like whiteout conditions. Into the unknown. Yeah, and then walking for a long time, like absurdly long, and then you see like a light like way, way on the horizon, but she's sort of like starting to like hypothermia freeze up. Uh, yeah. And breathing. And it's sort of like AJ is weighing her down. <laughs> yeah. So there's a choice of, do you stay with AJ oh. and just sit there and maybe freeze to death Shit. or, or, run to the or leave him Whoa. and Oh my God. Yeah. It was really, really dark. That, that it, is in the pitch, dark. It was everyone hearing it going like, Oh. That's pretty painful, but that's like real. Sometimes that's those are the real best life ideas yeah. zombie totally shit like right that. there. Yeah. yeah, that would be apocalyptic world Hard reality. Choices. Yeah. Well, because at the end of season two, there Shoot wasn't a, there wasn't a season three. Thanks, Kenny. I know. <laughs> so, I know. Hence I the five know. branching endings that are impossible to come back <laughs> from right. without cheating. Yeah, <laughs> right. mean anything anyway. <laughs> <laughs> we'll never have to follow these up. Yeah, which is the same thing when we made the Back to the Future game. Bob Gale was like, because we ended oh, the season a in a crazy ending. And, yeah, and he was yeah. just like, at the time, if I could go back and change the ending to the first one, we would have because we didn't think we were making a sequel. And then when that happened, uh, we were like, oh, we just screwed ourselves. So his, mm. yeah. he was like, don't screw yourselves in case you make a season two. <laughs> <But>. <laughs> This is pretty cool artistically. This it is. Like, just it's harsh, yeah. harsh white. Uh oh. Still Yikes. Getting, still working. Yeah. Ah, Here we are at the rest stop at the end of the world. The fateful I know, station. right? <laughs> yeah. It's got like a picnic area. Got some place for the some, kids. Some tires, tires to sit on. Yeah. Rocks to climb Big on. Tires that don't make sense. What would have this tire? <laughs> I don't know. Just sit on it. Zombie ate it. It's fine. <clears throat> Yeah, so I, um, Ainsworth, uh, Sean Ainsworth was um, was doing a lot of this stuff and, and really heavily involved in the visuals here. And it, it is really cool. Mm -hmm. Can you buy me a burrito from that vending machine? <laughs> a burrito? I don't know. It's probably still good. <laughs> 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 no, Beans a dehydrated burrito. Um, uh, for for what it's worth, I felt like Jane ended up coming together as best as she could mm. with the limited amount of screen time and sort of original planning that yeah. went into. Yeah. Christine was to great moment. too. She mm -hmm. really did a great job. Yeah. Yeah, it's like Jane clearly, if we were going to do something, probably should have been in episodes one and two. Yeah. yeah but, that's the thing. If, but if, we if didn't it know. was. Yeah. If we went back and did it again, it would be. Uh, there would be much more of it built that way. But. I also distinctly remember how this ending with the baby used to go, which was that AJ was just gone. I remember that as well. Uh, I think I, I think we recorded it that. I remember it being changed well, because it was just like Jane made a decision that would be true to her character, which is just at some point she just chose to live instead of saving the baby. Right. Because that just matches up with her survival. <laughs> totally. Thing, right. Yeah. It's like it's like I could have died saving the baby, or I could have lived, and that's just yeah. me. And there was no Did baby. Not been carrying around this eight-pound thing. But then, and but then, at some point, AJ was determined to be crucial to live, and so she instead becomes kind of a Machiavellian, crazy person. Yeah. Well, like, and then he was almost killed in season three. I feel like there was a mandate to kill him at first. Weirdly. Uh -oh. Yeah. Even early um, season four stuff was like, how the heck do we get AJ out of the plot? He's not happy. <laughs> crazy eyes are on. Yeah. <laughs> Jane, don't. Just don't. I'm letting this crazy 
crazy fuck anywhere near me, Clem. I don't need permission. Yeah. It's about well, to get crazy. And I, I guess even with all the, the craziness, there were some cool moments that came out of the fact that things changed. Yeah. yeah. So it's, it's oh, weird yeah. seeing those when it's like, I really like this moment, but I know that wouldn't have existed unless right. things were insane. So Ooh. it's back and forth. Oh, man. Uh. The, yeah, and bandage. I mean, Jane does set it up here that little bit before the fight started. It's like she's clearly doing this to show Clementine something. Yeah, exactly. Right. Yeah, you're gonna see what he truly is. Oh, yeah. He's just a one-eyed man. <laughs> a very angry one-eyed man. So much blame. Like Battle Duel of Fate should start playing here. Yeah, totally. There you go. Yeah. With the wind and everything, it's just so dramatic. If you're watching along at home, plus playing we now. We just yeah. need force fields that like separate the tombs so and they stop. Play a Phantom Think Menace rift tracks. Yeah, we need some commentary. force effects and lift them off the ground. This fight is so brutal, too. Yeah. The animation's great. Yeah. It hurts! <laughs> that's my eye! Oh, Maybe man. that's where Thrones stole it. Mm. The eye gouging? Yeah. No, that was real. Was Sorry. it? Yeah. All right. <laughs> well, Clementine was like bleeding from that same that angle eye. earlier. She just bleeds from oh, the yeah. left side of her she body all the time. Heal. She has no more blood left in the left side well. of her body. Of course, heal. So, Room, what are we going to choose here? Uh, uh, we got to stay with Kenny. Yeah, all I think right. we need to I, stay with I'll Kenny. Do it. I, will, I will abstain. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. You're biased. He always Prima chooses Donna, to kill Kenny. Yeah. Like, However, it's like, yeah, yeah, yeah Kenny's, Kenny has a good death speech, too, I if we kill him. Yeah, her... that's, well, but we decided that the speech uh, at Wellington, Wellington, Wellington... We'll do Wellington. We'll do might Wellington. be... Wellington is everyone's favorite. My tears are frozen. Yeah. I know. I can't open my <laughs> eyes. <laughs> They're just painted on my face. It's so cold. <laughs> The vectors on that shot. Very nice. She's got like a katana sticking out of her chest. Mm. Where'd she get that giant a tang on that yeah, sucker? Yeah, totally. Shooting Kenny there is the craziest option. <laughs> it's so crazy. <laughs> right. Yeah. Just fuck it all, Clementine. There was no other option. It was either shoot me or. Well, you can you can let him her. you can let him kill Jane and then shoot him. Oh, that's oh, true. Yeah, that's, that's what Greg crazy. Miller did. Yeah, I was gonna say the Greg Miller <laughs> he reaction sure to this he took stuff. Was, of course, was great. Yeah. yeah. Of course he did. Yeah. I remember we were, uh, I think we were on Up at Noon or something talking about it, and he was saying how, like, it was, like, the easiest, oh, yeah. like, the quickest choice he ever made in a Telltale game. Oh my where he was like, yeah. Kenny's my favorite character. I love him. I would do anything for him. But at that was, moment, I knew he had to it go. It was his time. <laughs> yeah. It was his right. time. Yeah. Go! I'm right behind you. Oh, she just Whoops. hid the baby. She just put it in a car. That's cool. She Seems was so convinced in her plan. Totally she died not for neglectful it. at all. He has more wrinkles on his face than usual. There. Is that to show that Who, he's like AJ? real cold? Yeah, AJ does. I guess he's that's a little bit older. That's his crying face. Ah. He's 15 months. That's what they start to look like. <laughs> oh, hey, the baby's oh. fine. <laughs> what was that all about? I guess we didn't need to do all that shit. <laughs> <Shit. laughs> She's crazy. Why'd she say it was dead? <laughs> she made me do a murder. Fuck. You got any Advil? Oh, my <laughs> eyes killing me. Um, if she had lied about an elephant here, it wouldn't have went that far. I just... Why would she... She was nuts, Clem. A disturbed person that had her own agenda and was looking out for herself. But I've seen okay. who you really are. I want to kill you. Okay. Well, you missed a chance, Clementine. Here, I'm yeah. gonna shoot you. Alvy. Alvy. I'm the only one that gets to call him mm, Alvy. Yeah. That's true. I don't think it happens anywhere else. Nope. That's cute. You're, I mean, when she's pissed at him, um, she does <laughs> call him as Alvin Jr. Alvin Jr. She does. Alvin the... Jr. Alvy. My little Alvy boy. 
Yeah, when you yell at the swaddle, you call it Alvin Jr. God damn it, Alvin. <laughs> They're already yelling at the swaddle. <laughs> it's not a very good swaddle, <laughs> if I may say so. It seems like they should have at least checked all those cars and maybe just driven them, yeah. right? Yeah. Well, maybe, right? that one looks Is pretty messed up. Yeah, but yeah but I would give it an, they were at a rest stop, some right? kind of an effort. I'd spend at least 10 minutes. I, I, I can say that yeah. all throughout The Walking Dead, though. I'm like, well, why didn't they just rub the blood on them but all the damn time? how did they know time? there wasn't food in that taxi cab? <laughs> it's like, yeah. you know, the whispers. You're like, well, yeah. The blood dries out. <laughs> Meanwhile, at the farm. I weirdly, this is at the oil well. I'm trying to remember what project came after this, and everyone got pulled off. Because I ended up doing, I think all the I toured this whole scene. Oh really? But I was also directing uh, on the episodes. So was it Was weird. it Thrones? Wasn't it Wolf? Maybe was Wolf was happening no, simultaneously. Yeah, 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 it was. It was at the same time. Oh, uh, that's right. It was the end of Wolf. Yeah. The end. And that got that was the tweaked. End. It's your decision. A fair amount. No, I feel like that mm, ended before, before this episode, though. It might have been people moving on the thrones or something. I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> Come on, Alvy, we got this. You cheated. We're in a Mad Max movie. Yeah. Finally. <laughs> did you though? Yeah, usually, yeah. <laughs> usually, yeah, we did. <laughs> Looks like you a big wall. Them playing. Usually the MacGuffin location isn't real. This is amazing, Clem. There's a whole city behind that texture flat. <laughs> that we never That's see, right. not even really? in season three. <laughs> no, you see it in season you see three, a I think. Flash I think there's like a flashback. Or there's yeah, something. But she's like in a room. Right. That's yeah, yeah. It's she's a like sheet. In, she's it's in the kind of guard like house. wandering around yeah. outside. She's in the guard no, house. She don't. never actually <laughs> makes it inside Wellington. Roasting marshmallows outside the wall. <laughs> no room for you. Put your hands up, Cleo. Drop your weapon. Approach the gate. Rebecca Schweitzer again, right? Who plays Clem's mom yeah. on the answering machine. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Rebecca Schweitzer. I don't know why I had to say it that way. It's yeah, it's her. It doesn't just... Sounds good. Yeah, Clem's mom. <clears throat> yeah, totally. <laughs> Clem's mom voice also... This lady, got her name. What's up, earmuffs? Yeah, yeah. I mean, it is cold. She's the first. Us? She's the first person sensibly wearing earmuffs. Yeah. I know. She, I can't she handle must have it her, when she must have her shit together. Yeah, when people don't wear hats in cold weather, it she got a walkie-talkie too. She could tell he was handsome from up there. Is Krista here? Is Krista here? At one point, oh, there yeah. was supposed to be. There, we got yeah. six. That line was Pick added, one. I think, as a, at the very, very, very <laughs> end, as like a we're we're settling this once and for all kind of thing. Oh, like, there is no nah. Kristen. No, Christine she's not here. Committing basically. She's not right. here. Yeah. We're done with your fan theories. Yeah. There are zero Kristas inside. Yeah. <laughs> well, no, those still I came, came to back check for your season of four. <laughs> I What's mean, that? actually, I, they haven't stopped, the, even though season four is over. <laughs> Here you go. The, yeah, the fan theories of Krista coming back because Telltale divers. announced that there would be a character from previous seasons and everybody assumed uh, it was Krista when in fact it was Lily. Gotcha, yeah. So, but yes. It was also Eddie from 400 Days. <laughs> that was the other theory? No, but the, I, I think I had confirmed some earlier interview. There was multiple characters with a weird little S in the end of it appearing. Anyways, ah, gotcha. That's season four stuff. But to be fair, Krista, we never see her die, so she may we're still be. Totally. She's probably yeah. fine. She's she could there. still appear yeah, in a future she's... Walking it Dead work. It worked out for Lily. <laughs> <laughs> this, is, this is prime Kenny stuff here. What are we going to choose? 
I personally like the Clem goes inside and ending. Yeah. I think they could the, be flesh eaters in there. Yeah, but it's a big wall. <laughs> no, she, I mean, they she's could be not a flesh, eater. flesh eaters. Yeah, they yeah. could be. They've learned to speak. <laughs> oh, that co- will cook that baby. <laughs> yeah. that. That's like yeah. veal. So I'm trying to remember the other endings. <laughs> There's an ending where Clementine ends up alone, walking into mm-hmm. a field of zombies. That one's like, yeah, chronic. that's yeah. if you, ch- yeah, um, choose that's if you to... kill whomever it is. Or after or, they kill the gotcha. other person, and you or, choose okay. to walk away. Whoever's alive or whatever, you're like, mm-hmm. fuck you, I'm out. I'm, yeah, you can get that I'm from siding with myself. either person and then leaving them. And then there's there's go with Kenny to Wellington. Mm-hmm. Or there's go to Wellington and leave Kenny behind, or there's leave with Kenny. Leave with Kenny. Yeah. Right. And then there's all or the, go and to then there's the Jane endings, which also contains a branch where you let the family in or not. Yeah. Yes, go to house, let the family in. Oh, and if you yeah. do, they actually rob your ass. So yeah. Shouldn't alert. have trusted people, Clem. <laughs> we taught you better. Yeah. Yeah. Haven't you learned anything? Uh-huh. Yeah. Did you have hope, Clem? Stop it. This is season two. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing works out for anyone. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> No, internally, our favorite ending was the one we're going to do right now, which is the stay with Kenny and then go t- go into Wellington and have the like final moment. Well, it, it completes Kenny's character arc yeah. perfectly. Like, it redeems him for all the bad stuff he's done. Oh. Yeah. He makes this one final sacrifice for this mm-hmm. real, really selflessly for the sake of Clem. So this this is the one that makes the most character Man. sense, I think. Going off with Kenny into the wilderness actually is kind of bizarre. Seems foolish. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Like, how are they going to survive? They have, a, they have a two-year, two-day-old baby. Two-day-old baby. I think it's 15 months, guys. I know. I think 15 <laughs> month olds are like walking. Spoken like kids. a true dad. I don't know how many kids you have, but. <laughs> we don't like, know how much time happened during that loading shit. screen. It could have been weeks. It was, it was slow. They, they don't have to look at you. They feel ashamed at what they put you through. Okay. Collector's edition. I know this. Hey. <laughs> We've all been talking about <laughs> I'm, it. I'm looking. We're pressuring around. some skybound people to back of the room into nodding aggressively at Gavin. <laughs> Working. Yeah, fine, sure. Take my earmuffs. <laughs> yeah, give Kenny the earmuffs. <laughs> Surely you have more earmuffs. Put it in over there. one eye. <laughs> <laughs> That'd be badass. Oh man. Oh, I hope someone draws that. Uh, That's too good. Oh man, don't waste this. Is this like the, the same private Ryan earned this? That's right. <laughs> Wilson! <laughs> oh, that was so sad. I only got one eye. <clears throat> yeah, it, honestly, one of my favorite parts. So I. I enjoyed working on uh, episode one of season two, and there was a lot of fun stuff that was that was cool to do. And then actually getting to sort of get back to you know working with the Max and character performance here on this final moment was like the the walk away the Kenny walk away beat was like really fun to to work on. It's just like it's really good stuff. Really slow stopping. walking out of this stopping. game. Is he gonna turn? Oh. Slow walking out of this game. Oh, nope. Man. Oh. I said I wouldn't turn around. <laughs> yeah. Plus, uh, I only got one eye. <laughs> if I remember correctly, Pierre wrote this scene you have to turn really full quickly. Around, like I remember when the ending suddenly came into existence. Yeah. Yeah. It was. I honestly, it might have been like, like a week. I like blinked and like, they were suddenly. It was oh, like there's written four and then we scenes. built it. It was just a yeah. Yeah. Man. Meanwhile, That's after good. the game. Yeah. Yeah. Totally. Next. There's just stats now. Yep. You did it. Um, well, that was a lighthearted ending. That's what a the, fun, fun <laughs> video game. Yeah. I mean, what a good. fun day. Good. What a nice thing yeah. to what a nice thing for people to enjoy. <laughs> yeah. What a happy story. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Everything works out for everyone. Yep. Yeah. Super good. Thank you to Robert Kirk from, for letting him yes. tell stories in his for, Yes. For letting us fart around for in your universe. This <laughs> yeah. universe. Uh, yeah, so these stats are less balanced. 49.1. Yes. <laughs> 
Nice. I'm just under 50%. I'll take it. I'll take it. Yeah, that, oh, I remember that we one being that that one being that 50/50 is really nice. That's yeah, good. that is good. Yeah. The uh, yeah, in the, the, the end who are you with? We we're hoping it would be like way more people with uh <laughs> walking away or letting Kenny walk away cuz we who like that the, ending, who but... didn't protect the oh, baby? AJ and Lillian. Yeah, I don't. I don't think that one's really mm. well messaged as a choice. Protect it's the not, baby. It's like it's click not, on the baby yeah, or it's, not. It, yeah, yeah, I exactly. that one it's not clear that you're you click on like one pip or the other pip. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think and we were stretching to get a big five. And even then, you're kind of like, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yes. what is that thing on the ground? Am I cl- click on the rubble? It's oh, wiggling. It's a baby. <laughs> it's, yeah. I'll pick it up. <laughs> Come in and pick it up. Yeah, it might be something I can craft. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, totally, I can build something. I'll make a new cloak for Clementine. Yeah, there was a pickaxe. Kent just pointed out right. Before of the um, Dennis. Yay. Dennis. <laughs> Dennis. Yay. Oh, and Pink is in there too. Derek, <laughs> Jared, everybody. Look at all these um, champions. These are these a bunch fine, of champions. Fine, fine. Latino. Oh. Latino. So many people. Yeah. Eric yeah. Parsons. Yeah. So uh, some of them crazy. are still around at the end of Telltale. Uh huh. Yeah, really cool. Uh, so There's DRM. Say, D- DRM. Yeah. David mm. Monroe. Um, we think this might. He always had this plan. Every season of every game we made of wanting the the menu to change slightly to be thematically relevant to each episode, and we just pointed out at the end there's power lines in the pause menu, so this might have been the one, the one win he got on the UI side. Of That's awesome. making that dream happen. So, right on. Good for him. Hey, oh, look, hey, it's Julian. It's Julian. It's you. Ooh. Yay, Connor Studio Star. Studio Jory. Jory. Tim. Yeah, Tim. Galida. That's the right. Tim was engineer. Jory was in Norway oh, for Timmy. most of that. Why? Why We've is got a special it? credit? It's yeah. performed why does by Scott, Scott say Porter. It's performed by like the rest of us. He is very cool. No. I didn't perform any of that shit. Yeah, no, I just, <laughs> just showed up and said <laughs> just those words. It it wasn't us. performing. Just hanging out. Uh, That's yeah. why Colin was here. Oh uh, yeah. Crazy. Hey, it's Dennis again. Yeah. And there he is again. <laughs> wait, what? Oh, oh my god. Wait, what you did a lot of Look jobs. Look at all those credits. Oh Kaufman showed up like three times. He gets paid every time. He gets paid every time he shows up. I got my Never associate should. producer salary and my chore <laughs> salary and my <laughs> directing Mary. salary. I got all of them. He just keeps <laughs> double dipping, triple dipping, quadruple dipping. There's Rhoda. Mark Barbalak. I guess you didn't do it then. <laughs> <laughs> Just how so you know, we, we recorded ah. Barbalak for a voice in the final season. Elisa he does Tudor. Some, like, he does some, like, uh, some goons. It's good. It's full circle. Yeah. I mean... Truly. And we were actually in the studio for that one, so that makes it like the last ever in-studio recording for one of these things. Dude. Oh, wow. I nice. thanked hey, my Kristen wife. Latino's in oh, this. Wow. This is we were just yes. dating. <laughs> oh, that's funny. She deserved that was bold it. of you. <laughs> yeah. I was probably doing it as like a pro move, trying to be like, check it out, put you in the quiz. And she was like, I don't like being <laughs> so uh, I, I'm sick of you working on uh, games, damn it. Why don't yeah. you just come home sometime? Yeah. Yeah. Yay. All right. I think that was that's awesome. Yay. Thanks for playing and listening to us talk. And uh, we appreciate the support and appreciate your interest and involvement. Thanks for, for sticking through this season. I know it was dark, um, but I think there was some positive things that came out of it and some cool moments. So uh, sticking through to the end, much appreciated. Yeah, I would echo that. You know, all of these situations that we had to deal with, we wouldn't have been in if there weren't people. But it really was, it was a very unique time and it was great to be a part of it. So yeah, our arguments about creative content were because everyone cared so much. Exactly. So it was yeah, just, exactly. It was a melting pot of thousands exactly. of people caring. We couldn't stuff. turn off the yeah. care. Exactly. That's it. That's all I've got. Very diplomatic. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs>